as we get ready for Andy Moraga to wave the green flag. They are staging. And here we go. Four riders into turn number one. It is the 521 machine, your leader. That's Tyler Smotherland from Bakersfield, California. Through the dirt section they go. Up over the singles. They're gonna single, then double. And a left-hander. Over the wall jump. Smotherland leads the group down into the infield of Kern County Raceway Park. As we send it down to Steve for an update. Christian Payne looking to the inside of Tyler Smotherman as they go up and over the man-made jump. They're running one and two with the 285 of Malcolm Barker out of Saratoga Springs, Utah. He's running in third. They'll go around the big left-handed sweeper in turn number three to the big jump. And that's where Christian Payne takes over the lead, that big 90-foot tabletop, into that very slow right-hand dirt section. Back up the hill here as they go hit turn number four here at Kern County Raceway, the big half mile, your new leader. On well, that one, two, three, ready at Grecian Pools, Husqvarna, that is Christian Payne. Tyler Smotherman back to second with the 285 of Malcolm Barker running in third. Scott, back up to you. Christian Payne showing why he's the fast qualifier here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as he's opening up about a 12 to 15 bike length lead. Back into the dirt section they go. They're gonna hit a, hit a couple of singles and a double. And back on to the Kern County Raceway pavement here. And that left hand turn. Christian Payne, a local rider from Bakersfield, California, the number 123. Sponsored by Grecian Pool Cycle Gear Racing. And just one. He's opening up a huge lead now on Tyler Smotherland, also from Bakersfield. These two riders know each other well. Suzuki and Husqvarna, first and second. Barker shows the third position. Malcolm Barker from Saratoga Springs, Utah. His Honda, sponsored by Toxic Moto and Slide Moto, as Christian Payne leads the field of 21 riders in the Amateur National Round 1 AMA Supermo Supermoto National Championship Series and a huge lead now for Christian Payne. Barker still holds down third, pinning it wide open as they slam down on the brakes, shift down into turn number one. Coming up on that second turn and another right-hander into the dirt section. Payne trying to hold on to the lead, not make any mistakes for the Amateur National Championship Series. Payne, your leader. And a big group of riders doing battle for the fifth spot now. Six riders for fifth place is Christian Payne. Leads Tyler Smotherland. Up over the man-made jump, the Back, back out onto the racetrack they go. Christian Payne just looking smooth out there, don't you think, Steve? Absolutely, Christian Payne ultra smooth on that Husqvarna up and over that big 90-footer again. Tyler Smotherman on the Suzuki. He's taking it real easy over that dirt jump. He singles it, and then your third place, Mike, the 285 of Malcolm Barker. But I want to talk to you, Scott, about the guy who is really impressive right now. He's nearly, he's in his late 50s, I can tell you that. And that is the gentleman on that number 33 Honda. That is Ernie Lyles. When I started announcing Supermoto here in Bakersfield at Mesa Marin Raceway, he was in the sportsman division out there. That was about 20 years ago. And I'll tell you what, the old man is really fighting for a podium position, or as he calls it, a podium position. And he's trying to reel in that 285 of Malcolm Barker as we're about halfway through this one, Scott. Back up to you. Ah, oh, that's, you know, Showing the young guys, that, you know what? I'm not giving up yet. I still got some racing in me. I think he can too. I think he can, he can do it. He's uh, he's inching his way closer and closer. And you know, as you know, Steve, uh, when it comes to uh, Supermoto National Championship Series, a lot of these guys will ride motocross. A lot of these guys can ride flat track. A lot of these guys are road racers. 
but you put the three into one, the combination into one, and some of these guys will have a little issue here or there of trying to work out some of the details. But Christian Payne, he's got it figured out through that 90-foot tabletop section they go. He's your leader. And we've got our top three riders kind of starting to bunch up. Barker, back into that third spot. We've got Smotherland, it looks like in second. Smotherland trying to hold on. As Barker starting to inch his way into that second position. As Christian Payne looking good, pretty smooth out there. As we've been noticing all night long. Didn't get the greatest of starts out there, Steve, but uh, he's, he's looking pretty darn good right now. Yeah, he certainly is. He's really putting on a clinic here. I mean, this kid was four seconds faster than the entire field when he qualified on that one, two, three machine. The kid's young, he's fast, he's fearless. He really knows how to control that bike, especially in those dirt sections. He's really, really learning. Unlike this road course section right now, the big S is coming through the infield here at Kern County Raceway. And then under heavy braking around that big tractor tire, up and over the big steel jump. And now we've got a nice battle for second. The 521 of Tyler Smotherman and the 285 machine of Malcolm Barker. Nearly wheel to wheel when they came over that man-made jump as they head to the dirt section. Now this is where Smotherman has been having some trouble. You see he singles that. And Barker does the same, trying to follow him, and he's closing the gap as they do that, as they hit that very, very slow right-hander back onto the pavement. That's where it gets real slippery. Throttle control, very, very important right there as Barker continues to close the gap on the second place runner. And 2015 track champion here at Kern County Raceway, Tyler Smotherman. Scott, back up to you. You know, when it comes to that dirt section, we told you about that in qualifying, in practice. You know, coming off that tabletop jump over there, making that right-hand turn. You saw the guys from the AMA series, the staffers out there sweeping off the dirt. That was gonna be a little bit of an area of concern. Some of these riders are seeing that right now. And in the amateur class, our top three riders at the moment, uh, second and third kind of having some issues with that on that right-hander. We've got Barker out there in third. He's trying to catch Tyler Smotherland. Smotherland is second right now from Bakersfield, California, and Barker in third at the moment. But Barker is closing in. He gets to within about two wheels of that back tire of Smotherland. But Christian Payne way out front. Here's the single and up over the tabletop, just kind of ride over the tabletop and back on the right-hander. Let's see if Barker, and they both kind of slip out again trying to get that grip back on those tires and keep them warm as Christian Payne continues his lead here at Kern County Raceway, being presented by Sully Chevron and powered by Jumpstart Energy Shot. Battle, best battle on the racetrack for second position between Tyler Smotherland from Bakersfield and also Mr. Barker, Malcolm Barker that is, from Saratoga Springs, Utah. His Honda, the number 285, can he do it? He's trying to make that pass through the dirt section. No mistakes by our second place rider of Tyler Smotherland. His Suzuki looking pretty good. There's Barker now, he's right on his back wheel. Can he make that pass for second? He's on the podium, but can he move up a spot on that podium finish? Back to you, Steve. He just didn't set himself up very well, coming over the big wall jump there, and they're gonna come over the man-made jump and up the hill. Barker and Smotherman. Smotherman on the yellow Suzuki, the 521 machine. And Barker on the 285 Honda. Now this could be the spot where Barker considers making a move here, but he just goes very gingerly over that kicker. He does not go over the big tabletop, and he gets right on his rear wheel as they come off the dirt section, but it's very, very slick there. I'm telling you, the throttle control has to be there to come off that turn. And that allows Tyler Smotherman to maintain second position as the white flag is now out. We'll go back up to you, Scott, for the final circuit here at this beautiful course at Kern County Raceway. Top three riders in the amateur national final here, Kern County Raceway. All these riders, whoa, and we almost had a rider go down. Our third place rider almost going down of Barker, trying to itch his way in. And, and will this lapped rider that they're coming up on kind of pose a problem for Smotherman? as Barker trying to get that pass on. We've got a little wheelie by your leader. 
Christian Payne wheeling it down the uh, up over the wall jump as they come down into the, the infield. Kind of does a little wheelie on the final lap. Here at round one of AMA Supermoto National Championship Series, Christian Payne, one final trip over that single. And he's gonna hit that tabletop. And he's waving his arms in the air. Make some noise for him, fans. He's working hard for you, and oh, he goes down! Christian Payne going down, your leader! Can he finish strong? Oh, down on the inside is Parker. We've got a three-way battle now for the lead. Christian Payne, can he do it? He holds on, wow! What a race! All the way through the finish line of the checkered flag lap. Wow! Maybe a little hot dogging with that right arm kind of pumping up in the air. Wow! Well, let's talk to our third place finisher on the 285 Monarch Honda coming to us out of Saratoga, Saratoga Springs, Utah. We got to meet earlier. You got a selfie on my phone. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Malcolm Barker, ladies and gentlemen. Malcolm, a pretty spirited run between yourself and the 521 of Tyler Smotherman. Yeah, it was a good battle. It was a ton of fun. I just wish I could have run around him right there in the end. You know, I saw where you were kind of making up a little bit of ground was over here in this dirt section. That's where you started making up with about three laps to go, but late in the race, you had that little bobble there that let him scoot away. Yep. We all make mistakes, but it was a good run, and I had a lot of fun. So. I know you got a lot of folks that help you out on this machine. Let's thank them now. Yeah, I want to thank Monarch Honda. They're awesome. Uh, Toxic Moto and SlideMoto.com. And my beautiful wife. She's your smoking hot wife, yeah. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Thanks for coming to Kern County Raceway, ladies and gentlemen. Malcolm Barker, your third place finisher in our amateur national and former track champion here at Kern County Raceway in our, su our local supermoto division, coming home in second tonight on the 521 machine, Tyler Smotherman. Tyler, welcome back to Raymond's Trophy Victory Lane. It feels good to be back on the podium after the past year and get the second on AMA. It feels really good. Well, man, this 521 was uh, ultra fast. Christian Payne, a little bit quicker, very quick in qualifying, and got a got a great start and tracked you down there. But man, uh, you were starting to reel him in there, especially after he fell down with just one corner to go. I almost had him that one corner, man, but he, uh, I have nothing to say. <laughs> Your dad, so many other people help you out on this 521 bike. Let's thank him. Oh, I think my grandpa, all the sponsors I have, my all the people that came out to support me and. Just everybody, thank you guys. How about this crowd coming out in the under the threat of 85% chance of showers? We haven't even seen a sprinkle this evening. And here you go, ladies and gentlemen, your winner of your amateur national and AMA Supermoto National round number one, Christian Payne. I'll tell you what, Christian, uh, a great debut for you here at Kern County Raceway in the national round number one. And you had the field covered. Can you tell me what happened over there on that final dirt turn? I got a little carried away and opened up the throttle a little too much and spun her out. <laughs> <laughs> Panic mode sets in. Uh, electric start on this Husqvarna? Oh, yeah. I luckily grabbed the clutch before I could kill it, but so that helped a little bit. Got back up as fast as I could. He almost got me, though. I had my heart racing a little bit right there at the end. You've raced Supermoto out here at Kern County Raceway, but never with a dirt section like this. Did you really enjoy yourself tonight? Yeah, I had a little trouble getting it down at first, but after I started doing some laps, it came together and it was really nice. I liked it a lot. Are you going to make the trip to New Hampshire? I'm hoping to make all of them, even Canada. Right on, man. That sounds great. Well, I'll tell you what, I think it's time for you to move up to the pro class. <laughs> I don't know about that yet. There's still some pretty heavy hitters in there that I don't know if I can take yet. What do you think, Christian Payne fans? You think you can pull it off in that pro class? I think you can, man. Congratulations on a big win tonight. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I know Ready Ag, all those guys that help you out. Oh, yeah. Ready Ag, Grecian Pools, Just One, Cycle Gear Racing, Lean Six Sigma, Adventure Center Power Sports. I just want to thank everybody again for coming out, even though we had 85% chance. I appreciate all you guys, and I know everyone else out here does too. Thank you very much for showing up. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. Your top three finishers in the Amateur National, and I'll get out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, as we get prepared for our next event, but I gotta take this time. And a Yamaha rider from California, Cameron Welsh to number 752. And there we go, the green flag is up. Into turn number one is the field.
It looks like the 752 of Cameron Welsh, your leader as they turn into the dirt section and we've got a side-by-side -side race. What's it look like to you down there, Steve? Yeah, they're bar to bar as they head towards that wall jump, headed to the infield. Up and over that, they're coming right at me as they come through the S's here. This is really the road course section. We're gonna have to slide it left, then right, and then sweep around, and then heavy on the brakes. And that is the 232 machine of Dallas Daniels. He's your leader, Josh Jackson. Rockets into second place with the 752 of Cameron Welsh now in third as Jackson is looking to the inside as they head towards the big dirt section. Back up to you. Here comes your leaders now. Here's that right-hander, that tricky right-hander. Josh Jackson will look on the inside and he'll take over the lead. Josh Jackson putting in some off-season training as he leads them down past the start-finish line. Josh Jackson, the number 424, is your leader. Down into turn number one they go, the sharp left-hander, oh, and a little wide. Here comes your third place rider. He's moving up to the field. That is the 752 machine of Cameron Welsh. Holding down that second position and trying to chase down Jackson. Jackson is really good through the dirt sections here. He's up and over that big tabletop now into the infield, takes it nice and slow over the wall jump, and he's starting to open up an advantage as they head into this S turns. Very quick section here, and then heavy on the front brake as they slide into the right-hander going up the hill. No change in the top three. Jackson out in front. The 232 of Dallas Daniels running third, and the 752 of Cameron Welsh running in third. And there is your top three positions, but they've got some bikes behind them, Scott, that are starting to reel them in. Could be a top five race here any second. It's Dallas Daniels holding down the second position, but he's got a rider right behind him. It's the 752, California rider, 34-year-old Cameron Welsh, hard on the gas. And as, as Josh Jackson leads the field, you know, the one rider that's not out here, ladies and gentlemen, is Nikki Reimer. I don't see Nikki Reimer out here. Steve, any report on Nikki Reimer? I don't. I'll have to talk to Matt Stewart, our AMA promoter here tonight. I saw Reimer come out and run that practice lap. He jumped over the big tabletop and slowed down and went to the grid, but I did not see him on the track. I will try and find out right now, Scott. Back up to you. You know, Nikki Reimer took that spill in that Pro Open uh, main event as we started off the night with round one of the AMA Supermoto National Championship Series. So maybe a, an issue uh, medically with Nikki. We'll find out. We'll find out and let you know, fans. That could be uh, kind of a shakeup with this championship series in 2016 as Josh Jackson finished second last year to Nikki Reimer. And Nikki Reimer winning five of those races last year in 2015. Jackson uh, won two of those with Kenny Troxel finishing with one win. And of course, Kenny not here tonight. Interrupt you, but he is out there. Nikki Reimer is going over the dirt section right now in turn number three. He is the number one machine into the slow right-hander now, exiting back on top of an onto the racetrack, and now headed up turn number four right there, Scott, back up to you. So he is on the racetrack, terrible start, and he is mired just at the tail end of the top 10. In this 250 class, maybe having some issues on his motorcycle, possibly not getting the greatest start, but again, he did go down in that pro open final earlier, maybe he's He's got something, uh, some kind of an issue. We'll find out more. If we, can, uh, if we can find out for you fans, we will surely let you know. But in the meantime, Josh Jackson, the Jet, he is way up front and he is cruising here at Kern County Raceway Park in Bakersfield, California. This is his hometown track. He felt pretty good, in fact, when Steve talked to him during the, uh, the open pit area uh, from six to seven o'clock here tonight, the open paddock. He was excited, he was ready to go, and uh, he has proven tonight, ladies and gentlemen, he's put in a great off-season workout, and he's been riding hard, ready to battle for that Pro Lights Championship. As Nikki Reimer is uh, back in about sixth position and coming up over that tabletop jump right now. So we will find out what is going on with Nikki. Maybe again, something with the bike. Maybe after he took that spill, uh, something uh, something going on. As Brady Towson 
is holding down the four spot. He's got Dawson Schieffer from Sturgis, South Dakota in fifth. Those guys know each other well. They practice together just up the interstate from each other in South Dakota as the Kawasaki leading the Suzuki at the moment for the fourth and fifth position. Brady Towson and his Kawasaki. Dawson Schieffer, the number 28 Suzuki from Sturgis in fifth. But way out front now is Josh Jackson, Steve. Yeah, he certainly is. He holds about a, let me stop by stopwatch, four second advantage over the second place bike. The battle on the track right now is between those two friends, Brady Towson and Dawson Schiffer. They are wheel to wheel, exiting back up onto turn number three. Little high speed section here as they go down the hill, make that left hand turn into the dirt section. Townsend and Schiffer, just two bike lengths separate them now. Schiffer closes the gap, looks to the outside. You're not gonna make a pass there on that right hander. And then headed back to the big high bank half mile here at Kern County Raceway. Now this is where you can make a move. You gotta hammer the gas and you gotta tuck that helmet underneath that number plate and see if you can draft them down across the start finish line and then slide that rear tire into that left hander. And that's the battle to watch. That is for fourth and fifth as they come right past Raymond's Trophy victory lane. Back up to you, Scott. Dawson Schieffer now looking to the inside of Brady Towson. Can he make the pass? Schieffer, hard on the gas, but closing the door is Brady Towson. These guys, again, know each other so well, racing at state line last weekend and winning together a team title. But uh, they are putting the best battle on the racetrack right now for fourth place. Dawson Schieffer from Sturgis, South Dakota, Brady Towson is in fourth. Way out front, Josh Jackson. And he is riding like no other tonight. He's making it look easy on his hometown racetrack here in Bakersfield, California. The 424 machine of Josh Jackson on his Husqvarna. Wants to thank Adventure Center Power Sports and PZ5 Cobra. Also, Lean Six Sigma Racing, the sponsors on that machine. He is looking great in that second position. We've got Dallas Daniels out of Matton, Illinois. His Yamaha, the number 232. He's in second, hold down that second position at the moment. And then Cameron Welch from California, Yamaha rider, hold down the final spot as Dawson Schieffer gets around Brady Towson for fourth. Schieffer now, he's again a freshman in uh, at Sturgis Brown High School, Sturgis, South Dakota rider, and he's in fourth, finished second last year to Steve Alkire in the Amateur National Championship battle. He's moving up, he's into fourth, and going to work for a podium finish. Back to you, Steve. 232 in Dallas, Daniel still in command of second position. And he's got the 752 of Cameron Welsh. Still within striking distance, and you said earlier that is right. That 28 machine of Dawson Schiffer out of Sturgis, South Dakota, the answer racing awry, MotoMaster sponsored machine, just outside a podium finish, running in fourth, but that battle for fourth and fifth. Scott still raging on as they hit that slow right-hander exiting the dirt section. Back on the gas, very slippery right there. They'll go back up the hill. Where is Josh Jackson? Man, he is like a hotel room on Sunday afternoon. Man, he has checked out as he wheelies back towards Raymond's Trophy Victory Lane and heads to that dirt section in turn number one. Scott? White flag lap, one to go, Steve, as Schieffer gets back around for fourth place. He's trying to reel in that third place podium, and he's gonna try to, he's about five bike lengths to get into that third position. Can he make it stick? All the points matter every single round. Round one, and can he make it stick? Up over the wall jump, he's right on the back wheel of that third place rider. Can he make the passes? As you said, checked out is Josh Jackson without any mistakes in that right-hander, that slow right-hander, as Dawson Schieffer. Can he make it happen? Brady Towson kind of hits that big wheel on that right-hander going over that man-made jump, and a slow rider putting the gap in. Here comes Dawson Schieffer. Can he make the pass? As Josh Jackson, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Josh the Jet. Jackson, your winner. Dallas Daniels trying to hold him off. He's going to finish in second. Can Schieffer make the pass? And he will not. Cameron Welsh will finish in third. 
but making a strong effort is Dawson Schieffer out of Sturgis, South Dakota. Brady Towson will finish in fifth. Yeah. On that 752, damn dummy racing Yamaha, Cameron Welsh, Cameron, what a battle that was out there, especially late. Did you feel the pressure coming on that rear tire? Oh yeah, man, that pressure was all over me. Uh, I, I did everything possible to stay in front of these guys, but they just kept coming. I, I gotta thank uh, Damn Dummy Racing for putting together a great bike for me. My wife, she's sacrificing her time to be here for me. Uh, my dad, everybody's been supporting me. I, I can't thank everybody enough. Hesperia, California, man. You're not a desert racer, man. You're a supermoto racer. Yeah, yeah, I gave desert a shot, but I like the asphalt better, man. It's... Oh, well, congratulations, man, on a great podium finish. Thank you, thank you very much. Cameron Welsh, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm gonna come over here and talk to this young man, and I'll tell you what. Coming through that S section there, after that wall jump, you were very, very impressive on the gas, fearless coming through there. Your second place finisher on the three, uh, 232, Fat Boy Racing Yamaha out of Mattoon, Illinois, Dallas Daniels, man. Congratulations on a great run. Thank you. I was very fortunate to qualify on the front row, or actually I qualified fourth, but then they flip-flopped it, so I was on the front row, and I got a good start, and... They, they came by me, so I was just, you know, trying to hold on to second because he pulled away pretty easy. And I seen third place was on me, so I was just trying to run a clean race. But my Fat Boy Racing, Kirkland Racing, Larry Davis built motor bike is running really awesome. And this is only my third time riding this bike. Actually, my first ever supermoto race in this series. So I was very glad to get this uh, second place. And also thanks to my dad and Andy Hosick for driving me down here. All the way from Illinois, it's a pretty long drive, so thank you very much. Well, we wish you the best, man. Congratulations on a great run, and enjoy that long, sweet trip home with that great second-place podium finish. Yeah, it just makes the drive that much better. Right on, Dallas Daniels, ladies and gentlemen, coming home in second, and a local rider who made a serious commitment to take a run at this two fit this Pro Lights Championship this year for the AMA Supermoto on the Lean Six Sigma. Adventure Center Power Sports 424, Josh Jet Jackson, your winner. I'll tell you what, my friend, you got an okay start there, but you really started to make up some ground in those dirt sections tonight. Yeah, I just uh, I knew I had to move quick. I wanted to get to the front because I knew I had the speed to get away once I got there, so I just wanted to make quick work of it. I wasn't sure what the weather was going to do, so I was just trying to put some ground on everybody else. That way, if I had to back off in the weather, I had some room to play with. Well, it was a great run, man. Let's talk about the commitment you made and your, uh, your charge for the championship in this pro-like division for AMA Supermoto. Well, I've been thinking about this race since we left uh, Tucson last November. I led almost the whole main event and got passed on the last lap, and it's been eating at me. So this was my redemption day. I've been working hard. I've been hitting the hills with some of my buddies that are up here in the stands, um, hitting the motocross track. Uh, and my team, man, they dumped some money behind me this year to... I have no excuses now. If I'm not winning, it's my fault. Let's talk about that team that's behind you. This, uh, this bike is super fast, and you've got a load of folks that support you on this 424 bike. Yeah, I, uh, man, I just, as soon as we left Tucson, I just got on the, got on the computer and started blowing people up and uh, just tell them to give me a chance. We'll make something happen. And, uh, you know, the number one guy right now is Glenn Fuller with Lean Six Sigma Racing. I wouldn't be here without him. Brento, he was the one that got me on these Huskies. Um, PZ. From Adventure Center. Yeah, Brinto from Adventure Center Power Sports. Uh, PZ5 Cobra out of Italy. Um, Tokyo Mods built me a phenomenal motor. This thing gets it. So uh, made it even easier on me. And, you know, I, I know I got a lot of uh, Michelin Tires USA. That's a big one that came on this year. So uh, I'm ready. We're gonna well, this. I'll tell you what, man. It's, it's April. It's getting close to 424. Let's talk about what that number means and what that number symbolizes for you, Josh. We will be back here on April 23rd, the night before, and uh, so 424 is my little sister's birthday that we lost, and uh, you know, as soon as she passed away, it was time for a number change, and it's, uh, I've had a lot of good luck since I made that number change. Congratulations. Josh Jackson wins the Pro Light main event here tonight, AMA Supermoto National Season Opener. Scott, back up to you. And you know, she's looking down on you, Josh, and she's saying, yeah, he did it. That is so awesome. Congratulations to our podium finishers in our Pro Lights final here tonight. Round one of the AMA Supermoto National Championship Series.